Hello, hello. This is Jan with Jan Stan Art, and I am here one last time tonight to the public to paint with all of you. So come on in and say hi and let us know where you're watching from and if you're excited about starting to paint. Um, some fall scenes because that's what we've been working on for the last week and we'd love to know a little bit about you. Tell us where you're from. Tell us if you like to paint with acrylics because that's what we're going to be doing tonight and tell us what your favorite painting whatever like a paintbrush or what's your what's your favorite piece of painting material that you like to paint with? My favorite piece, I'll go first. My favorite piece of painting material is a shelf sitter. I love to paint on wooden shelf sitters. So tell me what you like and tell me um, what's been going on and where are you watching from? Hello, I see some people coming on now. Dolores and Michael and Pamela and Melanie. Good to see all of you. So come on in. Watching from Central Virginia. I just broke my fingernail, y'all. Not that I really, you know, I don't dress up my fingernails, but this one just broke. Okay, so this is what we've been working on. I'm gonna take you down to my other screen here so y'all can see. Oh, vacationing in Virginia, how much fun. Canvas boards. Canvas boards are super fun. So I'm going to take y'all through what y'all are saying. Canvas boards are probably my second favorite. Okay. Um, I buy them either at Hobby Lobby or Blick. And you'll see I like to use them a lot, actually. Um, and these are some of the things that we have been painting. Canvas boards are super fun. Um, hello, Miss Linda and Pat and Lori and Carla. Hey, Miss Margaret, how are you? If I miss you, I'm sorry. My camera, where the comments are coming from, is over here on my left shoulder. And my camera's where I'm actually going to be doing the painting is over here in front of me. So I'm going to kind of be looking back and forth. Um, from Maine, oh, oh, I love, Miss Joanne, I love painting on wood too. That is my favorite as well. Sandra from Alabama and Dawn. Hi, Dawn. How are you? So glad y'all came. Y'all, I did not realize that I'm peeling. I'm, I'm actually peeling. All right. So what we're doing right now is um, I've been taking this, this painting this inspiration y'all can see it here and i've been painting it all week um i started off with watercolor paper then i went to a canvas with um, and it's all acrylics okay i'm not using anything but acrylics i'm an acrylic artist i haven't even um, attempted to get into any other mediums this is my love this is my passion it is um it's easy for me to just do acrylics because i have all of the supplies for it and i I fell in love with it when I started using acrylics and I've never done, uh, I've never painted. I've been painting for about seven years now and I've never strayed away from acrylics. I've never tried oils. I've tried a little bit of watercolor and um, that would be my second choice if I had to do anything else. Um, I tried the glass and resin way over. I don't like it. I'm just, <laughs> I love the, the way it looks but I don't like playing with it because it's just too much stuff. There's stuff everywhere and there's mess and stickiness. And, <laughs> and that's not me because I'm already a mess just with acrylic paint and paint brushes. That's enough. I can't handle any more <laughs> stuff. <laughs> so that's why I just stick to acrylics. Very simple. And we just get down to the basics. So I use canvases. I use um, wood. I use uh, watercolor paper or like really thick, heavy paper. Um, most of the time it's at least 140 pound and my favorite is a 300 pound. 
Um, I use canvas, um, the canvas pads. Like this is probably one of my favorites too. I don't know if y'all have ever used this. It's almost like a sheet of cotton. Like it, can y'all see that? How it just like moves. It's so, so nice to use. That's probably one of my favorites too. So let's see. Hi, Alabama fans. Hi. Hi, Miss Judy from Sarasota, Florida. I'm so jealous. Sounds like fun. Hi, Carla. Hey, Robbie. The, oh, you did sunflowers on that? I love, I love that, the canvas pads. Okay, so what we're going to do today is um, we've done these. We've done a palette knife version as well. That's what we did last night. So today, this is what we're going to do. And I don't have a lot of time because we're actually, we're painting a cornucopia tonight in our tribe. We go live every Monday night at 7 p.m. And um, every Tuesday at noon in our tribe. And we are now, let me go ahead and take my big head out of this picture and let y'all see just what we're going to be doing. All right. And now um, we are closing the tribe tonight and we are going to start working on our paintings. And tonight is the first night that our new tribe members get to be a part of one of our lives on the other side of, um, of what we do. And so we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. I cannot wait to meet all of you new people and, um, tell us if you are new and you're watching today. I'm looking for my, you think I would have everything right here, right? I'm looking for my paper towels. Where did they go? Those of y'all who watch my lives, you you probably know by now that I do this every time I go live. I'm like, where's this? Where's that? <laughs> I literally have no paper towels in here. No, that's not right. What happened to my paper towels? Hang on, y'all. Give me a sec. I have to find something. paper towel thing. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Thought I was ready. <laughs> All right. So here's my paper towels now. And what I was thinking we were going to do is this. This one is very intriguing to me, especially for these little tags. And when I look at this, I'm, I'm basically taking this one inspiration, this, these uh, pumpkins with the flowers in the front and the bird, and I've kind of just manipulated it in different ways to make different paintings with it. But this one is probably my favorite to work with. And I really like maybe this tag right here. Maybe this could be, I could make this about this size right there and I can make that on this tag and then I want to paint the shelf sitter I don't know yet I have not decided maybe y'all can give me some advice I have not decided what I'm going to do on the shelf sitter this is just a four by four and so I could just do the pumpkins or I could do the bird you have to be kind of small and um I don't know. So we, we're going to put that one on the side, but I, what I really want to do is this one. Okay. So I'm going to start with some greens. I'm going to start with my greens. I have stuff everywhere. Let's go. This is a, a what I'm using right here is a palette. It's palette paper. And y'all know when you paint on wood, let me get a paintbrush that will work pretty good. When you paint on wood, um, the wood absorbs the paint really, really fast. 
So one thing you could do is you could gesso your wood first if you wanted to. But I, I love painting on wood so much that I just go with it. And I just use what I have. And um, I like the feel of wood. I like the softness of it. I like the way my paintbrush moves on it because it's so smooth, you know. So let me see what y'all are saying. New tribe sisters. Do I have any on here? Welcome, Lori. A bourbon peach cobbler. Oh, that sounds good. Sounds good. I have lots of painting to do tonight, and I'm so excited because I can't wait to paint the cornucopia. I have not painted it yet. I love when I do that, and y'all are going to see on the other side. Um, I love painting for the first time. I love painting a painting for the first time uh, with the tribe, and we learn and we work together on it, and... Um, it just, it, it, it always comes out great. It always comes out great. But the tribe members can see like where I struggle and how I fix things instead of just like, it's not always, you know, just perfect. It's always like a work in progress with the members in the tribe. And I love that because that's the real, that's like, real painting. I mean, that's the way it really works. It's not going to come out exactly like mine. We're all going to have a different painting and they are all going to be beautiful and their creativity is going to come through in their own way. So I'm going to talk to y'all a little bit about these tags. Um, I sell these tags in my Etsy shop and um, my husband makes them actually. This is a, I think it's eight inch. This is an eight inch, eight and a half inch, maybe eight and a half inch tag. And um, they're really popular in the holiday seasons. A lot of people like to, I don't know, hang them. You, I guess you can hang them on your trees and, you know, all different kinds of things like that. And uh, I sell the blank tags, but I also sell the painted tags. Like, for example, like this. This is one that we painted, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks ago. Do y'all remember when we painted this? This is one of my favorites. And I also painted a couple of other ones. Um, just a little Be Kind. And then this is another one we did one day with a little bird. I seem to be on the bird, the bird kick lately, don't I? Sometimes I get on some little kicks and we just, we just go with it. Um, so these tags are um, really, really fun to paint on. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a paintbrush. I'm going to use a filbert brush. All right. I'm going to use a filbert brush. This paint is already just about dry, y'all, because it's on wood. And so it just like it absorbs into the wood. Now look how pretty that is. I really like the way it looks. Hello. Uh, yes, tell us. Tell us if you're a tribe sister and tell us how long you've been a tribe sister. Because, y'all, I am. A, we are closing the doors tonight at midnight. And I am, I am pretty much at the full capacity now for the tribe. Um, we have brought in a lot of new members this past week. And so we're going to sit back this, um, this, these next four, five, six months. And we are going to have a blast in the tribe and we are just going to learn and love on one another and um, do all of the things that we do. So uh, yeah, tonight, if you want to join, this is the last opportunity to join until no telling when, because um, 
we are pretty full. Our tribe has grown this past week. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm adding a little bit of brown to my orange. I'm just using regular orange. It's actually called orange. That's all it's called. And I want it to be kind of like a burnt orange. So I put a little bit of burnt umber in it. Now, you could, al you could always buy burnt orange. You know they have that um, in the stores. And... I, I'm a big mixer though. I love mixing paints. That's one of my fortes. It's something I just love to do. I love to try different things. And um, I'm gonna make us a little pumpkin right here. Well, I'm actually gonna make a big pumpkin. I said little, but. And when you join the tribe. Tribe sister for a year this October. Yay, Robin. I'm so excited. Y'all, we um we are we're actually getting together in October with some of the tribe sisters. And um if you've been following me for a while, you know that I do a lot of stuff with a couple of other um ladies that craft and we are going on a crafting cruise in October. And so I am going to have the privilege to meet some of you in person. I'm so excited for that. And we're going to be on a cruise together for an entire week. And in between the, um, the excursions and all of that good stuff, we're going to be crafting. We rented the auditorium on the boat and we are going to be crafting. So we're going to be doing um, paintings. We're going to be doing glass and resin. We're going to be doing um, watercolor. Um, what else do the other ladies do? Um, napkinizing. So, yeah, we're going to be doing all, hand lettering. We're going to be doing it all. So it's going to be super fun. And we are going, we're going on, on um, we're going to the, where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> like Bar Harbor, like the Northeast, like Maine, and we're going into Canada, and it's a it's a Norwegian cruise. Hello, Miss Ellen. Thank you for saying that. That is so sweet. So I am going to grab also some burnt sienna here. Because you see how you can see through this pumpkin? I don't like that. And that's because my paint is um, its a little transparent. So this is something that we can do to help that. I'm going to go back over with some white. And I'm going to let it dry a little bit too before I do anything else. I'm going to go over with some white over the pumpkin just a little bit. And then that's going to that's gonna take some of that transparency off of the orange. So it's going to make it work better and it's going to make it more opaque. So when I add more layers, see, I'm going to add a little bit of this uh, burnt sienna. That color is really pretty. See how it's going to add some more dimension in my pumpkin. I am a very messy painter, but it always, like, it looks bad at first, but then it always comes out. It looks good afterwards, so. Just hang in there, trust me with the process. I know sometimes the process goes a little astray, but it always ends up working out. That's the best thing about acrylics. I'm looking for some green, some other greens. The best thing about acrylics is, ooh, look at this green I have. I don't think I opened this yet. Let's see what that's going to do. It's like a vivid lime green. This might not work, but I'm going to look at it. Y'all, I'm listening to Michael. <laughs> I hear him singing outside. 
He is just going to town, singing his heart out. This is like a very, very vivid lime green. I'm looking for a little bit of softness to my dark green. So I'm dipping in this lime green and I'm just going to add a little bit of, there we go. I want something that's contrasting to the colors that's already there. So I'm trying to make that dark green into a lighter green. I'm just going to start. I'm actually going to go all the way up here as well. I'm just using the same paintbrush. Now I need to leave some space for my, my bird, but I'm just using the same paintbrush and I'm going to I like to hold this while I work on it. I don't know what he's listening to, but he is just rocking out there. <laughs> he has an outdoor um, shop that I can see see from my window where my art studio is and uh he's he's doing woodworking in there he's making frames and stuff and he has his radio on and he is just <laughs> singing away <laughs> i think it's so funny all right so do y'all see what i'm doing i'm just kind of making a little cute little viney area around my pumpkin i like it I like the colors. Okay, so I'm gonna clean that paintbrush off. Praise the Lord, Miss Tracy. I knew it was gonna be okay. I'm so glad to hear that. Oh, good. Yeah, Miss Tracy Creates is gonna be there. I'm putting my. Uh, my air conditioner back on but you know what that's okay if you're not going to be on the cruise we actually we've already started planning um other ways to meet up with all of you and we're also planning another cruise for 2024 we're going to do another cruise um crafting cruise for 2024. So um, keep that in your on your agenda because that is coming and more information will be given out about that. And um, it's gonna be super fun. So I think we're we're trying to do like in February of 2024. This is a super, super bright. It's called cadmium red light. It's a super, super bright, um, almost like a reddish orange. Well, it is a reddish orange. It's not almost, it is. And I'm just going to add a little bit of that in here as well. And our, um, our other cruise that we are going to do in 2024 is going to be a crafting cruise as well and it is going to be more of a, a, a like a caribbean type um out of like the florida area so that'll be fun all right so i'm gonna grab a smaller paintbrush. Let's go with something like this. Mm, let's see. Yeah, these two are good. Okay, so we're going to make our bird again. I love the way we can just take this same inspiration and just work it through in all different aspects. We can make so many different um, varieties of this painting. And it is just so much fun. Where's my black? 
Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to put just a little bit of black on my palette. Well, here we go. And I'm going to kind of draw with my paintbrush. Okay. I'm going to draw with my paintbrush. I'm going to draw my bird. And I want my bird to be a, a huge part of my painting. So I'm going to make him pretty nice and big. So he's going to go all the way up here. And this area here is going to be like his body. Okay, I'm just making like a big oval. And then this is going to be where the head's going to be. We're going to make it all work out. Right now we're just kind of outlining it. And this is where the tail is going to come. Okay. And I need to put a stem on my pumpkin. I forgot to do that. But we'll, we'll take care of that in a minute. Okay. So that's where we're going to start. And we are going to, I, I grabbed a, a little bit larger paintbrush. And I'm going to go into the, oh, sorry about that. I forgot to turn my. Um, hang on. One sec. Y'all give me just one second. Okay, there we go. We're back on. And um, we are, I forgot what I was saying. But... I'm using a, a little bit larger brush and I'm just kind of going in here and I'm going to start making all of these little feathers. It's okay that the paint grabs some of the green. This is going to dry fast enough to where we're going to be able to make it all work out. Now I want to make sure that when I'm making all of these little feathers, that I'm making right here. I'm gonna use a little bit more of this orange. Um, I'm gonna use a lot of layers, okay? So don't be shy with the layers. I'm adding a little bit of white to my paintbrush because I need a little bit more opaqueness on this. I also wanna make sure that I go far enough down let me see if I can zoom in for y'all. There we go. I also want to make sure that I go far enough down um, with all of my strokes that I cover up my drawing. I don't want those lines to be visible. So this is where you have to give yourself some patience in the process. Because right now, he's not looking that great. but he's going to look better. I promise you. All right, I'm going back into a little bit more of the darker gray. And I'm going to start blending all of this. Let's get a little bit more black in there. You cannot rush this. You have to just take it slow.
and I'm hardly touching with the brush. All right, let's start getting that face taken care of. So I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to start. Working this in. Okay, see how I just kind of, I keep on passing back over some of the same areas because I'm just trying to soften it up. I need this to come a little bit more out like that. And just keep on softening it up. If you are wondering what I'm using, I am using a number two fine touch. Um, I think it was originally a Filbert brush, but right now it's just a, a used up paintbrush. I don't know what kind of paintbrush it is now. <laughs> I've used it so much I can't even tell what the tip of it looks like. But I want you to pay attention to how much time I'm devoting on all of these little strokes. It's not something that just happens automatic. And that's the glory of painting. That's what I love about it. Okay, so let's take a break from that and let's see what we can do with his eyes and his beak. So I'm going to take a small paintbrush, very tiny tip, and I'm swirling it around. I put a little bit of water on the end of my paintbrush and let's make sure you can see. Yeah. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put this eye, solid black, and put this eye right here. And then his beak is going to start. There. Look at what that just did to him. And then I'm going to put a little bitty white dot there and a little bit of white right there. And let's add a little bit more white to him around the eye. We have a section in our, um, in our tribe where we have a lot of animals. And what's so much fun about painting them is that every time you paint them, they come out different. It doesn't matter. Like each one has their own little personality. And it's just so much fun to paint them. And you get attached to them. <laughs> if you allow yourself the opportunity and if you work on them for a long time, they start, um, they start meaning something to you. And then you're like, I don't want to get rid of him. He's just so cute. That's the glory of painting animals. I find that's probably one of my favorite to paint is animals because of that. Because you kind of get attached to them. I'm, I've never really ventured out very much on, on people. It's just not a passion of mine. 
but uh, I have ventured out a lot on animals and I really like painting them. We do in our tribe, we do a lot of um, a lot of country scenes like the barns and the the um, the farmhouse. What's y'all favorite? Anybody want to tell us what's their favorite that we painted? For those of y'all who are in the tribe, tell us what your favorite is. I'm making I'm trying to make this come out a little bit more. I've been having trouble picking a favorite. I'd love to know yours. The florals, yeah. Thank you, Cindy, for putting the link. He's a, he needs a little bit of work. He needs to be readjusted. So y'all give me a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this come down just a little bit more. The florals are a lot of fun. We do florals. We do um, we do still life. We do um, barns. We do cows. We do florals. We do holidays. We do uh, religious things. But we love, we all have a passion for like the old time, the old time stuff, you know, all of the old time rustic kind of things. That's kind of where we focus a lot of our attention. Like, oh, oh, one of the ones I want to do coming up pretty soon is an old house with, um, with the clothes hanging from the clothesline and, um, you know, like the old quilts and stuff hanging from the clothesline and the old lady like hanging the clothes in her dress. Like I want to do, I like to do stuff like that, you know, and not necessarily, you know, extra detailed, but those are the kind of things we like to paint the old country country gardens and anything country is really super fun for us to paint. Anything nostalgic that takes you back to the old days. And I let the tribe members vote on what they want to paint. And we all do, which by the way, I have to start getting y'all votes for September. I usually get the votes a couple of weeks before we start the month. And then that drives me to figure out what we're painting for the month. So um, there he goes, he's getting a little bit better. So yeah, that's super fun. I love having, I love getting y'all suggestions because it kind of takes the pressure off of me. <laughs> on trying to find, you know, things to paint. I just use y'all suggestions and then we just go from there. And y'all always have great suggestions, so. All right, y'all see how much I'm playing with him? I'm making sure that he looks right to me. If he doesn't look right to me, I'm gonna keep on playing with him. Or her, it might be a her. Let me make the little, let me make the, the end of the tail come out just a little bit more. All right, I messed that up, but that's okay. We're going to fix it. Okay, that looks a little bit better. I like that tail better. See how I kind of flared it on the end? Okay, much better. Looking much better. You'll see how I use my finger every once in a while. I don't feel like it's going right, and so I'll go in there and I'll 
put some paint. I'll kind of spread my paint around with my finger. Okay, let's fix this pumpkin down here and then we're going to be done. Isn't it cute? I'm loving it. All right, we are almost done. And Michael is here. I just got here. For me, almost done. We're almost done with this painting. We have another one. We have a big cornucopia to do in the tribe tonight. I forgot to put my... Hey, everyone. Hey, boo. Hey, Mom. I told him I could hear you singing. Uh, <laughs> I was like, Michael's singing out there. Can y'all hear him? Look, when bread comes on, you just got to sing. Bread? Is that what it was? Bread and the Bee Gees. All right, y'all see what I got going on here? Just a little bit more dimension. I think I'm going to add a little bit more black to my stem here. The brown is being hidden. All right. Let's add just a little bit of shadows on the edges. Where are we? In uh, Jensen Art right now. I'm just live to the public. It is my last live to the right. public before we close the doors. Tonight. And we say adios. And we are going to serve our new members. Hubba, hubba. All right. What do y'all think? I think it's coming out pretty good. Oh, Let's get a little bit more brightness in my, need a little bit more contrast. So I'm adding just a little bit more brightness to my, my leaves down here. Colleen said an old lady hanging clothes sounds really cute. Yeah. <laughs> I love painting stuff like that. All right. I think I'm done. Wow, so we have we have painted this little bird so many times this week. We have painted him on a um, and I'm running out of time, so I'm only gonna do I'm only gonna do this one. I'm not gonna do the shelf sitter. We have done um, the little tag. We have done canvas paintings. I'm trying to add just a little bit more spicy color there. We have done uh, canvas paintings. We have done palette knife paintings. Look at all the fun that we had. Here's our palette knife painting. Here was our tag. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I like it. It came out pretty good. We have done uh, watercolor paper. We have done a, just a regular canvas. We've done it all. It's been super, super fun. And um, these are the kind of things that we do in the tribe when you come on in. And so we just wanted to give you a taste of what it's all about. And I cannot wait to see your paintings, to see what you create. We have a free Facebook group that you can be a part of. And um, in the free Facebook group, you can post any of the paintings that we've been working on. And I would love to see what you've been working on. Our tribe closes tonight and it is not going to be opening again for a very long time. So come on in. It's only $29 a month for over 200 painting tutorials. Whoa. And access to our private Facebook group where we will be live in about 45 minutes, and we're going to be starting on our cornucopia for the fall season. So, so excited for that. I hope we see you all in there. Hope to see you soon, and I will talk to you all soon. Have a great night. Bye-bye.